Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Last time, we got a shit ton of monsters to join our army. This time, I feel like we're in a, a time skip episode or a time skip season of the show because our team is so freaking strong. We got Yugi with his leader as Dark Magician. His side people are Celtic Guardian and Feral Imp. We have Mako Tsunami, who has mostly the same team, except I gave him Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. We have Tristan, who has exactly the same team. He did not get a time skip. We have Bakora, who has Beast of Gilfer as his tank. Ansatsu as his attacker, which now that I remember, Ansatsu, you need... I, I, didn't, I forgot to give you guys items. Uh, you get to get some of these legendary swords I bought with my crazy amount of money that I spent too much of, by the way. Um, and you need healing items. Do I have any healing items for you? Oh, we have healing items. Thank God. You get a blue medicine, and you get a monster born. Good. All right. Onsatsu as the leader, and then the next slicer as another tank slash healer. We have Fizdiz, who I have given the Illusionary Gentleman and Silver Fang from Simon. She kept her Horn Imp because I still think Horn Imp is good, but the Illusionary Gentleman is amazingly strong. And finally. We have Simon, who I gave a Summon Skull as his leader, Beaver Warrior as his support, and I let him keep Zombie Warrior because Zombie Warrior is pretty freaking tough at this point. So these are our new teams, and this is our new battle with these teams. Crucial battle. Here we go. Hopefully this goes well for us. Crucial battle just means that this is going to be a tough fight, and since we got so much stronger before this fight happened, then it makes me feel like it need we needed to be the strong. This is our most important battle yet, isn't it? Yes, if we win here, total victory is a given. But we must be careful. He may be old, but Haitian's still feared by a very powerful marshal. Not so tough that we can't take him if we work together. Right, we must win here so that we can finish this once and for all. Right, yeah, Fizdiz, you contributed. Okay, let's do this. Yugi's force is free. In okay, so we need to free pl some place called Eno. Yugi's team is wiped out by Cthulhu, uh, or this place falls. So, first things first, traitor. You have more legendary swords for me, you have more red medicines for me, I need those. Uh, just a few, don't want too many. Because I don't have that much money to begin with. Alright, let's zoom out and let's see what we can do. We have a force right in front of us, but they have anti-air cannons. So, we need to keep very we need to keep Yugi at the main base, he needs to defend our base. Our naval unit needs to go over here. And, uh, this base hasn't been taken just yet, so maybe have him take this base. It has castle walls, which will be interesting. Uh, since he has navy, let's have him cross through the water so he gets a little speed boost or a little power boost. Uh, we need you to go with him because you're weak now. And get ready for our first fight, people. They're going to use this castle with defenses to get to us. Our first fight is going to be Simon versus... What the hell did this guy have on his team? What was that? It was... Oh, okay, I remember these guys. He has Zanki, good to see you again, Millennium Golem, a super tank, and Giant Mech Soldier, another tank with decent attack. Alright, so we're fighting a tanky enemy right now, but Beaver Warrior has been given legendary swords up the ass, which means he's going to kill these motherfuckers. Plus, we have a lot of health. Oh, I mean, we have a lot of uh, attacks, whereas they only get two each, except for Zanki, he gets three. So, as you can see, Beaver Warrior is now doing an insane amount of damage. And even though all of the enemies we are fighting right now are tanks, we are beyond that. We are beyond the power level that these enemies are bringing. Thousand volts, we can take that. Why does that stone soldier have an electric attack? I guess that doesn't look like an electric attack, but that's basically what it is. Summon Skull has a lot of HP, but a very low defense stat, so he takes full damage from most of these attacks, which kind of sucks, but what are we supposed to do? Show them your power, Summon Skull, which is probably not as strong as the other guy, or as strong as Beaver Warrior, because... You know, your base level and he's high level. Oh my god, 276 with only being level 1. That's incredible. Beaver Warrior does like 400 because he has 3 legendary swords on Almost 500 damage because he has 3 legendary swords on him. Damn, Millennium Golem, you're going down. Yeah, guys, these are our new forces. We've had our time skip. We have our strong, strong monsters. Um, oh my god, that was a crit. And I still don't feel like I'm in danger. Machine Cuttery, yeah, go ahead and attack our tank. Beaver Warrior is our strongest guy and our tank, funny enough. Uh, let's get rid of both of his tanks if we can. Zanki, I don't mind fighting. Other than the fact that he got a crit, he's still his weakest member. So let's go over here. Yep, go ahead. 
I feel like Zombie Warrior's still doing good work. I didn't I didn't feel like getting rid of him, especially when he just got a crit for us. That was really nice of him. Especially since he was the one that got hit by a crit, so that was kind of unlucky. And I just noticed that Beaver Warrior does more than Zombie Warrior does when he gets a crit. That's incredible. But that's how powerful items are in this game, people. You want to have good items. So this should kill him. Zombie Warrior's definitely strong enough, even though this is a tank. Yeah. And then we can still get a good hit on Zanky. That's, that's freaking awesome. That's what we want to do. So, Zanky, do you want to do anything back? How much damage do we freaking hell? This guy is like, what he's wearing means that he's one of the stronger warriors, so we're starting to fight stronger enemies. But, you won't even notice that we're fighting stronger enemies, because our forces are like a hundred times stronger than they were last episode. And one of the reasons for that is, we are just better. Okay, so we cannot go outside or we get hit by the cannons. We gotta be careful with that. Oh wait, isn't that anti-air cannon? I can't, I can't remember. Wasn't Catapult Turtle anti-land cannon? Uh, let me check the equipment, because if it's anti-air, we don't have any air enemies. Or air forces. We can we can just go attack them. Alright, go ahead, do your thing. Shredder, go ahead. Alright, yeah, I know we're starting to take a little more damage than I prefer, but that's fine. Now that you've uh, give, given up your defenses, we can go in for the kill. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Zombie Warrior. Go get yourself a kill. Get your revenge. Oh, fuck you, Zombie Warrior. God damn it. I'm, I had to convince myself to keep you on the team, and you're just you're still messing up. I'm keeping Beaver Warrior. He's too freaking cool, but the Zombie Warrior I'm upset about. Alright, let's see. Victory. I definitely need to heal Simon after this, so sucks about that, but we'll do it. Uh, let's see. We need to do something spe special. So let's do this. Uh, go to equipment and let's find out. Anti- Yeah, this is anti-air. We don't have any air enemies. So, wait, is Illusionary Gentleman air? Just, just- Oh, I can't I can't see it. Uh, Fizdiz, will you walk out for like a foot just so I can tell? Is he in air? No, he's walking. See? So we shouldn't even get hit by anything by walking to him. Yeah, look, we could just walk to this guy. He has two forces though, so we're gonna need two forces of our own. Simon, do you want to help? Damn it. Alright, so this is the weaker enemy, which, uh... We should be able to take out no problem. Let's find out what he has. As you can see, Illusionary Gentleman is already level 30. That's why he has 6 attacks and is so strong. Let's see if he has healing items. Red Medicine on Axe Raider. Blue Medicine on Rogue Doll and Blue Med- Okay, they're all healers. That's what I was uh, expecting to happen in this new season of Yu-Gi-Oh. They all have healers and now we're on the offensive. Glaring Chaos. Here we go. Horn Imp, I know you're our weakest member now, but you- s Oh my god, that was 300 damage. Okay, Horn Imp, you, you gotta keep up, buddy. This new season is this is gonna be tough, but damn, that was a way too much damage, don't you think? 300. You're dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Horn Imp, I didn't know. I didn't know you were that weak. Alright, I guess now that they're already out of attacks, we can start focusing down, uh, who's the threat? Red Medicine's always the threat to me, so I say we get rid of, uh, him. I know the um, Satsu can still heal him, but whatever. Alright, let's do um, Spectral Mist. This should do a ton of damage. Yep, that's a ton of freaking damage. Silver Fang, do you have Monster Reborn? I did not give you Monster Reborn, so that means we have lost Horn Imp for the entire battle. Alright, so, since we lost Horn Imp, that kind of sucks, but we'll be fine. Uh, let's start focusing Rogue Doll as well. If we can get two kills, then we definitely won't... Well, we'll actually have a chance of winning, but... We probably won't win, but it'll be better. Alright, you're starting to attack my Illusionary Gentleman, which is my best guy. Don't like that. Especially since this guy was supposed to make it, so Fizdis actually had a purpose. Uh, let's go for all three of them, actually. Because I think Illusionary Gentleman is strong enough. So, go ahead. Get the Spectral Mist in. Beautiful. Uh, sadly, I think we're going to have to wait. No, no, no. We can attack Rogue Doll again. It has enough HP. I just don't want to bring them down below half people, or they're going to start healing themselves, which... And Satsu, I'd rather you attack me. Or guard. Guarding's great. In fact, I, I recommend guarding. Do it again. Um, I don't feel like I can hit anybody again. Well, maybe, maybe I can do this. And then he won't be able to heal him because he won't be that low. We'll see. Uh, he waited. That means he, I don't think he would heal. He'll have a heal. Alright, I'm going to outweight you then. No, I'm going to wait you. Come on. That's what I thought. Don't let the AI bully you. If the AI tries to outweigh you, you outweigh it. Don't don't worry about points. Fuck points. Go for kills. Alright, so first things first, I want. I want, want, want that freaking Axe Raider dead. 
His Axe Raider has Red Medicine, which could just change the entire tide of the battle. And 211 might be enough. I think I'm still going to have to take two Spectral Mists to kill him, which would suck. Oh, damn it. That was too close. If only Horn Imp was still alive. Oh, no, we did it. Good. Then, we can focus the Rogue Doll, because the Rogue Doll was doing way too much damage for what it is. Maybe it has a boost because it's in a castle. I don't know what its ability is. Uh, Rogue Doll in the card game has 1600 attack, 1000 defense, so it shouldn't be this strong. But Illusionary Gentleman can make up for it, so good job. Get in there, gentlemen. And damn. I'm still going to have to use one more attack. I was hoping it would only take two. Alright, we killed two enemies. That's pretty freaking good in my opinion. Two enemies. I don't think we won, but we... Oh, we won! Holy crap, Fizdiz, you won! Sucks about Hornum, but you did it! Yay! Silver Fang and Illusionary Gentleman's not going to get a level for a while because it's already level 30. Pretty good. Pretty good, Fizdiz. But now I need to hold you back so you don't accidentally just go in for more attacks. Alright, hold, hold for a second. Uh, Simon, do you mind coming outside just, just so I can see what you're, what we're working with? Are you flying, technically? No, you're not flying, you're walking, good. Be reward, oh no, wait, uh, now you're a healer. Uh, you heal. You heal. You heal. And then we, oh, we, we captured an area. And then we attack. Uh, you have no way, wait, can I monster born when you're dead? Yay, he's not gone, guys, we have, we can still use him. I can monster aborn him when he's dead. Even though he was the one with monster, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter. Horn Imp is back. Alright, so he waited, which means he died. He if he would have guarded, then maybe I would have lost or, or lost some points, but he died. Beaver Warrior, show them your true power. Yep. <laughs> that's so strong now. I love you, Beaver Warrior. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, Summon Skull, I'm glad you got to level up. You definitely need it since you're only level 5. But your base stats are so strong that you're already stronger than Zombie Warrior. Which is pretty freaking cool. Alright, now let's focus on healing. Because I want I want Fizdis to do stuff. I want her to I want her to be part of this battle. So gotta heal. Aw, oh, damn it, I didn't get the other heal in. Mimi! Puppies, don't don't bark, please. I love you. No, I love you. I said I love you. Alright, sorry guys, my puppies are awesome. Alright, 300 damage. That was... This is a real fight. This is a real opponent. This guy just did 300 damage to us. 200 damage with the Reaper of the Cards. Yeah, this is a real fight. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Red Medicine. That's it. His only healer is Reaper of the Cards. Which means I need to go for this guy in the middle. Because this guy did 300 damage to us. Screw him. Our only healer is our freaking guy he's about... Okay, he didn't kill him. Good. Yes, attack our tank. Our tank... Who is not as tanky as he used to be because we're now fighting real enemies. Heal yourself. I know this isn't going to be enough, but at least it'll make it so they don't just kill you instantly. And then hopefully Summon Skull will get a turn because I can uh, I could use Summon Skull right now. Summon Skull, weaken this guy down. I know Summon Skull can do like 250 damage, and this is just base, so that's amazing. And Dragon Carnage. Okay. Alright, so now you're going for my tank, Beaver Warrior, who can't really count as a tank anymore if he's taking this much damage. Summon Skull, go for him! Yeah! Summon Skull takes full damage, but he has so much HP that it doesn't even matter. Guarding! You jerk! You're the one I want to kill! Fine then, if you don't want to die, I'll kill your friend. Just because you didn't want to die. Your Dragon Carnage guy is gonna die now. Even though his outfit kind of looks like the lizard from freaking uh, Spider-Man. Like, kind of. You can kind of see it, right guys? Just a little bit. Alright, let's kill him just so that we guarantee he doesn't get another attack off. His 300 attack stat is hurting us. Uh, or at least he's doing 300 damage to us, which is really hurting us, and I don't want to deal with that right now. Alright, Inferno Trial, doesn't matter. You attack the wrong one, we're fine. And this is letting me know that I need to buy a base with healer, that way our monsters can heal. Because, oh, I spent a lot of money though. Ooh, and I sent Tristan off already, and he's the constructor. Alright, we'll see what we do. Uh, Skull Spark, yeah, look at that, guys. Our team is still freaking strong if we're able to do this much damage. Beaver Warrior, I know you're not going to be able to kill this thing, but try to bring it down. Beautiful. Over 500 damage. I love it. And then we can let Fizdiz come in here and clean it clean it up, because we did that much damage, people, against a powerful enemy. These guys look like Sebekel's other form when uh, there's Sebekel and then there was another Guardian, but I think they're just using it as high warriors or strong warriors. So, we'll see how this goes. 
Uh, what can I do? You need to stop. Alright, you hold back. Illusion your gentlemen, I know I need to heal still. Uh, blue medicine, horn imp, just in case. And then you go take this over. And you heal your... Oh, keep forgetting to be warriors, not the healer anymore. Heal your teammate. And then we'll use healer to get the rest. Okay, Fizz Diz, get in there. Alright, Fizz Diz will give them the business. Or one of them the business. Okay, Inferno Trial's still gonna hurt. Stop going for Horn Imp! Oh good, he didn't. He went for Illusionary Gentleman. Thank God. I want Horn Imp to get some experience. I mean, come on. Spectral Mist. Freaking amazing attack. Yeah, so last episode, make sure you get all the roaming monsters. Because you're gonna need them for this power gap that happens. Or this power jump that happens. So, okay. Fizz Diz hit level 11. Very good. Horn Imp leveled up. Very good. All of this is necessary. We all need to grow up. Alright, so now... It's saying the guy who's playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Fuck me. Uh, so now that we got some extra money, we might want to send Tristan over. Tristan, I need a constructor to get us healer. Go over here. Uh, do we have any traders in town? No? Oh, we can't get healer because the equipment already... This is a, a castle... Oh, fuck. Fuck, we can't get healer because it already has stuff. But here we could. Okay, so never mind, Tristan. Go back. If we have to get healer here, then we have to get healer here. Uh, Fizdiz and Simon need to go over there then. Oh, not Fizdiz. Simon needs to go over there. Because he got his butt kicked. And he's used uh, used up a lot of items already. Go over there. Let's build the equipment. Equipment. Uh, over here, we need healer. Yep, it's the most expensive thing, of course. And then... It's time to send out big boys. Uh, Yugi. I need you to go. Go into the fields. Bakura... I don't know what to do just yet, so stay in base. Let's see what they have. Yep, they have anti-land cannon. And they have anti-land cannon. Fuck. And they have nothing. This place has nothing. We can send somebody here. And there's a place over here I just noticed. What the hell? Ooh, that's interesting. Dio Vaughn. And it has a trader on sale, apparently. And then over here must be the main base. No, that's not. Is this the main base? This is the main base with Master Haitian. Okay. So we don't want to attack this. Whatever you do, we don't want to attack this. We do want to attack this, though. So Yugi, cut through the middle, please. I need you to go all the way over here without getting into their line or their line of fire. Wait, what? Sorry, I'm late. Everything's going to be okay now that I'm here. Joey, what took you so long? What's the gra grandstanding, Joey? You're late. Aw, oh, shut up. I didn't exactly have an easy time getting here. Yugi, Maya's headed this way too. She should be here any minute. Great, we've definitely got the upper hand now. Guys, we did it. Joey has joined our forces. He has interesting monsters and just like Tristan, he has the constructor ability. Oh good, he came with blue medicine. Thank God. Alright, so Flame Swordsman, I love you. You're one of my favorite monsters. Why don't you come over here and help out Yugi? So now that we have that, we need to wait for Mai. Mai is going to be freaking vital for this battle. So what we're going to do is we're going to send out Mako. Mako, I need you to go into the woods. I know you're our slowest member, but I need you to do this. Uh, healer is activated, so that means our team should be healing. Slowly but surely. Uh, healing, let's see. Yeah, see, the money's going down because they're healing. Good. Alright, and then Tristan. This guy is a problem. Uh, let's see what we're freaking dealing with. This guy has Fortress. This guy has nothing. So we want to get him too. Maybe we'll send Joey around the back to get him. So Joey, keep moving. Tristan, get ready. I think I'm going to send you to support Joey. So Tristan, let's move you over here. I need you to cut through the middle about here. Then, Bakura, I need you to stay in base just in case we get any prob have any problems. Uh, maybe we should actually increase the power of our base. I know usually I don't want to buy stuff, especially equipment, but let's get like a land cannon in here. Uh, just in case, because it takes time to build up and you never know. If they take this base, we lose. Oh, this guy's a monster. Oh, crap. This guy's a zombie user. He has Dragon Zombie, Pumpkin King, and Zanki. Which, Zanki isn't a zombie until you give him an item to make him into a zombie, so... Yeah, he's not really a threat. But this is Yugi we're talking about. Yugi should have no problem. Wow, that attack had a long animation. And did a lot of damage. Okay. So, no healers? No healers. Let's just go for kills. Problem is, the dra dragon zombie is his strongest member. He gets four freaking attacks. 
So we need to get rid of it before he gets any more attacks off. And Shredder. This should hurt, but not too much. Stop going for Celtic Guardian. He's like the coolest guy ever. Oh my god. Alright, Celtic Guardian, show everybody your new power level. 435 damage, because now he has two legendary swords. Zombie Breath. Why doesn't he have three? Everybody? I gave him the dragon thing so that he can fight dragons stronger. Uh, or better. Oh, fuck, that hurts so badly. I don't have any heals on Dark Magician. He's, uh, he's only for damage. And he only gets two attacks because he's still level one. Dark Magician missed. Great, great job, buddy. Your first attack and you showed everybody that you missed. Oh, I'm a little bit upset. And they missed too. Okay, everything's okay, people. He missed as well. Which is good because we, we're in trouble. That was a lot of damage. Yes, I let you keep your red medicine and blue medicine for outside healing. So red medicine, your Celtic Guardian brother, because he's the one that's going to get us all our kills. Feral Imp could be our healer. Dark Magician is supposed to be an extra attacker, but obviously when you miss, you kind of suck. Uh, he should be as strong as Summon Skull right now, but he's more defensive. He can also take hits just as well. Uh, unlike Celtic Guardian, who's a baby who cannot take hits. Which makes sense. It's it's a, it's a It comes from a 1400-1200 defense point monster. 1400 attack, 1200 defense, so... It's not supposed to be tanky. It's just really good at this point in the game. So, Dark Magician, do not miss. Please. This thing could have been dead by now, maybe. Did you miss twice? Who the fuck are you? You're one of the coolest monsters in Duel Monsters. And you missed twice, so I can't even show off how cool you are. You're upsetting me. Dark Magician, I love you. How could you do this to me? Feral Imp, use your turn to heal again. Holy crap. They keep bullying one monster. Go for our Dark Magician. That way he actually does something. Stop attacking Celtic Guardian. Oh my god, thanks to all these misses, we might actually lose the battle. We probably will lose the battle. Fuck me. Okay, good. He doesn't get that extra attack. And he chose to wait, which made his things go down. Wait into a Shredder. That sucks. Oh, but he got a crit. Of course. Of course, video game. Why not give him a crit? Give him two. Who cares? I get to miss two attacks. You get to crit. You get to crit. That makes sense. Fuck me. Did we even win? We didn't even win, did we? Thanks to that crit. No, thanks to a lot of things, we didn't win. How the hell did our leader, Yugi, lose a fight? That makes me so sad right now. Like, I am honestly sad. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say right now. I am so sorry, everybody, that you had to see that. Yugi, our leader, has fallen. So far right now. Blue Medicine. Yeah, get get back in there. I'm not. You're not done. You have work to do. All right, Flame Swords, we get a little too close to that base over here. Uh, who's this? Mako Tsunami, you moving still? No, you're mo you need to move o over here. Maybe you need to help Yugi. Apparently, Yugi needs help, Mako. So, yeah. All right, Shredder, you're gonna do how much? Yay! Attack Dark Magician. He can take it. He has 1,200 HP. He's not a baby. Uh oh, Shredder's dead. Uh, I mean, Zanky's dead. What did I do, game? I, did I did I make a bad combination of monsters and now you're upset with me? Is that what it is? Is that why I keep missing? Dark Magic Attack. Please hit this one. Oh, thank god. How much damage does it do? 2300, that's fine. That's a fine amount of damage for a level 1 monster. Alright, now let's start killing the Pumpkin King, which is a tank. Okay, which is normally a tank. Wabam. I wonder how well battle the last battle could have gone if we had never missed. Like, even if the crits still happened, if we had never missed, would, it, would we have won? Or am I just that way? Oh my god, we got a crit. See, Celtic Guardian, even though they bully you, you can carry this team. Alright, you're level 25, no wonder. Feral Imp's level 23, level 26, holy crap! Dark Magician, I'm glad to see you're leveling up, you desperately need it. Even though your base stats are super freaking high, you still need it. Alright, and now that we've taken this area, let's see what else we can do. Well, for one, we need to get the hell out of this area. Let's go, uh... You know what, let's go do something a little bit dumb. You know Mako, I want you to join him in this dumb idea. Flame Swordsman, I can see that guy got revived. Uh, I still think you should go around and do your thing. And I still think you should have what? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is on purpose, people. Catapult Turtle is going to take away half our health. Which is fine. Um, which is fine. So, as you can see, the monsters on this map revive a really quickly. It wasn't supposed to revive that fast. So, this is more than half. What the hell? 
This is way more than half. Holy crap, that was bad. That was bad. Holy crap. Heal your monsters. Heal your monsters. Heal your monsters. Okay. Healing, healing. Red, red. Alright, good. Now that we're all healed up, let's let, uh... Let's let Mako in there. See how much time we have. Calpotoro needs a long time to recharge. And then we're gonna let Mako start the damage. Because this guy isn't that strong. He just had good defenses on the, on the tower. And, um... I just noticed all of these uh, places have the castle walls, which gives all of their monsters a passive defense boost, which is why we're not doing as much damage to these enemies as we normally would be. So, if you're curious about our damage outputs, that's why. Uh, healers. Uh, just the side ones. Okay, good. Although, these guys are level... How high? 21? 1? Oh, wait, these are mine. How high? Level 5, but it has that much attack? That's not right. Okay, this is weird. These stats don't make sense, but whatever. We need to focus. Let's focus on... I would say Silver Fang. Silver Fang has lower defenses. I know Mako isn't our weakest member at this moment, so I want him to just be focused on getting kills. Even if he loses, get kills. Yes, good, good. Alright, Octoburster, just... Yeah. Let's see how much damage that does. Okay, he's about at half, so now we need to save attacks to kill him once everybody else runs out of attacks. And now that... We need to see, they're focusing nobody. They're kind of ranging out their attacks. So, whoever this ain't for... Okay, so they're going for our, our dragon. Maybe I'll use guard for once. And then see if I can get them to focus the dragon that with guard. Okay, defense. Oh, fuck, now they're not going for him. Whatever. Still get points for using defense. And Dino Impact. That... Yep, now they're just not going for him. Fuck them. And here we go. I need to heal. But more than that, I need to win. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Silver Fang, please don't hit Octoburster. Good. Yes, our leader can take the hit. Do it to him. Good. Okay, this is still good, people. Now we just need to use you to kill him. So with this, we should do enough damage. 194, not bad. Oh, fuck! I forgot he still had another turn. I wasted it. Damn it. I completely wasted... Um, I, I should have waited for him to not have any more turns. We might still be able to get the kill, but... Oh, never mind. Fuck this. I, I'm just having an off day, people. I keep missing all my attacks. I'm making simple mistakes. This is bad. Oh, I don't even think I'm going to be able to kill Silver Fang now. Which really sucks, because uh, it would have been great to get rid of one of his healers for Yugi. Let's go here, and let's go here. Alright, we did what we could. Had we not missed, we probably would have got the kill, but still, what are we going to do? We live in this universe where we missed. So, 119 HP. This is going to be a tough fight, people. Because if next turn he gets to heal instantly, then we just kind of wasted all of Mako's turn. Which is fine, Mako's kind of not our strongest member at the moment. Not even that useful. Alright, heal you for sure. Alright, heal. Heal. And battle, okay. Alright, Fizdiz, what kind of level increase? Nothing. Illusionary Gentleman got a level increase, that's awesome. He's as strong as ever. Both of his stats being base 3000 is incredible. He's just one of the strongest cards we probably own at the moment. So, now that we've done that, let's go back over here. You need to heal Octoburster. Okay, good. I at least got to heal an Octoburster, so... This battle shouldn't go too badly as long as, uh, as long as he doesn't get to heal immediately. He got to heal immediately. Fuck! <laughs> Can something go my way today, please? Anything? All I want is to win. Oh, he got to heal twice! I love it! Freaking video game! What the fuck? Oh, god damn it. Alright, so since he healed twice, there's basically no reason to to attack him, but I'm still gonna attack him because I'm already, like, doubling down on the fact that I'm in trouble. Alright, so he's almost down, so let's start bringing down Beaver Warrior, get both of his healers down. At least try to make something easier on Yugi. Uh, Dino Impact's still gonna hurt. Mega Zeller's a tank, but does have decent attack stat. Gotta focus him later on. I don't want to get him in the beginning. Uh, then we're gonna focus down Beaver Warrior again with our strongest attack, Aqua Breath. Hopefully it doesn't miss again. That would really suck at this point. Did it hit? Good, it hit. Uh, he's guarding. Hmm. Well, I guess I can use this turn to heal then. 
I know I don't want to use one of my turns to heal because then I won't be able to kill him, but it's okay, people. I believe. I believe we have enough attacks left to kill him. And remember, it's not about winning the battle, it's about getting rid of one of their healers, if, bo if both are possible, but only one of them, most likely. So we're going to keep waiting. Yes, he guarded. I love it. All right, here it comes. You going for our strongest member? Yep. Okay, maybe I have to use a heal. Oh, fuck. I don't even think I'm going to have time. Damn it. Okay, who has Monster Reborn? You have Blue Medicine. Alright, so let's go for Silver Fang. Because we need our other guy's attacks. He's our strongest monster. And then, do you have Monster Reborn? You have Monster Reborn. We're going to need his attack. Uh, so we're not going to get the kill again. Oh my god, this game. Why do you do this to me, game? Holy crap. Unless the, unless we get crits, we're, we're definitely not getting the kill again. And not miss. Please, don't miss on top of it. I'm already... I'm so tired, guys. I was so excited for this fight because I'm like, Hey, it's the power increase. All of our monsters are so much stronger. And then all this crap happens. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck me. I, I hate this game. I love this game, but I hate this game. Alright, Mako. I know that you lost again. And we're back to where we started, basically. He barely lives because he died. Ugh, oh, this is starting to hurt. But, it's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Because I've given up on you, Mako. I'm just going to let Yugi do it. Especially since now I see this. Cut him off. It's not going to be... He's not going to make it in time. Alright. Officer versus Yugi. Yugi! I just want to take this place before Launcher Spider... Or... Catapult tool, or Turtle hurts us again. So... Let's just... Oh, thank God. Yugi gets to attack first. Get that... Get rid of that silver thing. Yeah! Alright. One healer down. Now we can just focus on uh, Beaver Warrior. Get Beaver Warrior out of here. Alright, now we just need one more hit before he gets... Okay, Dark Magician. You have one hit and two misses. Can we make it even? Two and two. Hell yeah. Beaver Warrior's gone. No more healers. Focus the freaking dinosaur. Nothing to worry about. That won't do anything to Dark Magician. He doesn't even care. That did a shit ton to Dark Magician, but I don't even care. I'm going to ignore his pain and go on with the battle. Shadow Claw. Dark Magic Attack. And then... Celtic Guardian will definitely finish it off with his freaking four attacks. Because he's a freaking amazing monster that's been with us since the first episode. So is Feral Imp, but Feral Imp's more of the tank. So he didn't get that many attacks, he just got to be tankier. See, he didn't even take 300, unlike Dark Magician. So let's do this. Wabam. Wow, Feral Imp and Celtic Guardian are standing side by side Dark Magician and are stronger than him because he's so low level. That's incredible. Although Dark Magician's starting to level up, so we'll see how long that lasts. Alright. Pretty good. Yugi's almost level 20, which is, that would be amazing to get a level 20 this early in the game. It's only it's only mission 7, so that's pretty high. And we defeat another area. Now, you are not going to be able to stop Rogue Doll, are you? Well, maybe. Rogue Doll's going kind of slow. Flame Swordsman, are you there yet? You're almost there. Go ahead. I'll send in Mako to back you up, because Mako's so useful. Where's Mako? Oh, Mako's over here. Like, go to this island first. Oh, look, someone else is being revived. Oh, damn it, he didn't make it there in time. But that's fine, Fizz isn't strong enough to defend herself, do ya? Plus, it gives me a chance to heal her if I do that. Yeah, Fizz Diz. Oh, Silver Fang and Horn Imp get more attacks. I love it. That's like the best thing you could ever see is when they get an extra star. Like, yay, you want to win battles? This is how you do it. Alright, and Yugi's fighting immediately. Or, fucking Joey's fighting immediately. This guy doesn't look that tough. But the problem is he's in a base, so that means he is pretty tough. He's an insect user. Uh, he has laser cannon arm making this ant actually strong. And he has blue medicine on the tank. Yep, the tank has blue medicine and the killer is just strong. But it only has two attacks. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to see how much Blitzfire does. It's cool that we have this monster on our robotic knight on our team now because it's pretty strong. And 192, not bad. Ant acid is not really that strong. It looks like Cyberman's Acid Attack in the Dragon Ball Budokai Denkaichi games. Or Budokai games, whatever you play. Um, Soldier Spike is going to hurt because he has the laser arm cannon on. Eh, we still took that pretty well. Let's see here. How many? 2119. So he's a, he's stronger than the other guy. So we don't want to attack right uh, the the ant, or the basic insect or it's going to get healed by ant, this ant. Alright, sword, Flame Swordsman, let's see just how strong you are. Flaming War Sword. You miss. 
Okay, you didn't. I just couldn't see it. Thank God. That was good damage, too. Love you, Flame Swordsman. You're one of my favorite cards. Don't die. I see that they're focusing you. Don't die. Alright, so now we're going to wait. And now you're going to heal the Flame Swordsman. Because we need to kill the healer, or we need to kill basic insects so it doesn't get the extra damage off. And I'm thinking... We wait. Let him do a soldier spike. We can take that all day. Ant acid. Good. He has no more heals. Now we can choose. Do we kill the healer or do we kill the ant, uh, the basic insect? Hmm. I say we kill the healer. I feel like that would be a good idea. Let's kill the healer. All right. That's 200 damage. Hunter Claw, who, wait, if they keep going for playing Swordsman, I'm going to be forced to heal, aren't I? That was their plan all along. Force me to heal. Oh, wait, do I even have time? Did I just lose playing Swordsman? What the fuck? I don't have Monster Reborn. Oh my god, I just killed Joey. I ruined Joey, everybody. I'm so sorry. He's my favorite character and I ruined him. Joey, I'm sorry. I'm not thinking today, buddy. I don't know what I'm doing. Flame Swordsman, I don't know. I'm sorry. Holy crap, you don't even have Monster Reborn. What am I supposed to do? Ah! Alright. Retreat. You got your ass kicked. Alright, you. Fizdiz, get out of there. Tristan, get in there. I need you to defend it. Fizdiz, I told you to leave. Go over here. I need you to heal. Blue medicine. What? What happened? Oh, our cannons went off because uh, they 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 have a flying enemy. Oh, they died. <laughs> they just freaking died to the enemy because they have uh, we had cannons. All right, Bakora, I've kept you in here long enough. Let's get you out in the field. I want you to go all the way over here because we've ca captured almost every area. I've been kind of just waiting for my Valentine to show up. I don't know where she is. I don't know if she's coming, but I'll, I'll still wait for her. And then I will do... I need to heal. Do we have any healing items left? We should. One. We only have one. Blue medicine. Alright. So Yugi's healed up, but he's hurt at the same time. Uh, Joey! Keep falling back, my friend. You're, you're hurt. Mako Tsunami! Guess who gets to go die again? And then, where's uh, Bakora when you need him? Did he get stuck in this place? Yeah, he got stuck. Okay. Bakora, go all the way over here. You're our fastest guy. I need you to move. Alright, Mako, heal. Full health. You need it. Freaking need it, buddy. Alright, keep going, Mako. I'm gonna believe in you. And then Mako's gonna get support from, uh, good old, what's his name? Ansatsu. And I think we're just gonna chill people. We're gonna be waiting for, uh, my Valentine to show up. Because I want my Valentine to join the army, so... I think it's just nice to wait for her. Equipment. I'm glad we have anti-air cannon now, because it actually came in handy. And here we go. If we can kill the ant before it gets to use a healing item, that'd be great. If we can't, then I'll focus the basic insect. Alright, let's see. The ant has 356 HP. Oh, they have healer, so they've been healing over time. Damn it. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's not enough. We need one more attack, or we're not going to be able to kill him. I like that the the day just uh, changed. Yep, we didn't get to kill him. The day just changed, so that's why it's all kind of... Uh, it looks like dawn right now. I like it. So let's do this. Now that, he, now that we can't kill the healer, let's go for the weak monster. 400 HP. That's actually too much. Wow. We cannot kill... Mako is so freaking weak. We cannot kill him. Uh, we can go... He might blue medicine again, so... We can make it so he doesn't blue medicine himself, and then we can kill him. So if we aqua breath the basic insect, then he's definitely going to heal the basic insect, meaning he's not going to heal himself. Meaning we can kill the basic insect right now, maybe? Can we get the kill? That would be awesome, too. Give him lose two attacks. Damn it, we're so close! 16 HP! Damn it! He's out of heals, though. He just used all of his turns. So now I need to see if I need to focus on healing myself, because we're at 500 HP. He's waiting. Wow. Wow, I just noticed that heal didn't really do anything. But let's kill the healer. Just because the healer is the one I'm actually afraid of. So this should bring him down. Then if all of our attacks don't miss, we should be able to kill the healer. No problem. If all of our attacks miss, then I feel a little bit more worried about this. 
Come on, guys, we can do it. This has been a long, crucial battle. But it is a crucial battle, so I feel like we should show just about everything. Maybe cutting out little bits and pieces that don't matter. Just rebattles. Let's see. That damage. One HP, you freaking jerk. You cannot do that to me. You cannot just live with one HP. That is so cruel. Oh, I guess there could be more cruel things in the world, like if this missed, but it didn't. So we're good. Okay. Yep, any last. He oh my god, we actually won the fight. Holy crap. Mako Tsunami won a fight, everybody. Hooray! I don't even need freaking Bakura. Freaking Mako Tsunami can do it. He can be a champion. Alright, so we're kind of waiting a full day, just trying to see if we can get, uh, what's her name to come out. Oh, let's see. You whoa, 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 Mako, Mako, Mako. Chill, my friend. You need to heal. Healing is good. Healing is healing is vital, actually. He oh, I used all your kills when you had extra. Don't know why. I'll try to make up for it next time. Okay, go. You. Good. So now that I know Mako could actually beat this guy, let's give Mako some experience so he doesn't just completely suck. Which he kind of completely sucks right now. Oh, thank God I healed all my team, so we're good. He didn't get any heals because we didn't wait this time. We just went right back in there. Hunter Claw is still doing way too much damage, and Soldier Spike is doing way too much for what it is. So we need to focus on burning him to death. We have Fireball against an uh, Insect, which should be a bug type, which should be super effective. So he should be dead. Water does neutral damage. Although it was a spike. Okay, we're good. I don't know if we can kill Hunter Spider, but I'm just going to focus all of our attacks on it and see if we can do it. No missing. Maybe some crits would be nice. Nice, nice. Fireball, super effective damage. Try to do more than 200, please. It's not going to do more than 200. 188 is pretty good, but it's not more. So now we need to focus something else. Oh, we got a crit! Yay, it actually happened, people! We did it! We won the entire battle. If we got a crit, that means we can win everything. We can defeat Haitian right here, right now. So let's do it. Uh, he's guarding. Freaking jerk. I have to hit you with a better attack than that. I'll lose all my points if it means to get rid of your guard. Doesn't matter to me. Alright, let's go. Fireball. Please work. Yeah, we did it! Mako Tsunami captured a base, actually won a battle in general. He hit level 3, he has more HP now. He needed that so badly. Everything's good. Everything about this is good. Alright, so the only one I've really failed is Joey. Joey's gonna... Joey's gonna hate me for this. So Joey, as an apology, go over here. To the healer base. Now let's start focusing on attacks. Tristan, I know you haven't really got to fight yet. Who's this? Dark Magician? This is Yugi. Alright, Yugi, get ready for a fight. Bakora, get ready for a fight. We're going in. What? Oh, did it happen? Yay, she came! You're late. What took you so long? Oh, be quiet. Didn't your mother ever tell you ne never to rush a lady? Jeez. You and Mai made similar entrances. So what? What's that smirk supposed to mean, Tristan? Now we're really ready for anything. Let's go, everyone. Okay, so now that we have Mai, let me back off all my attacks. You, stay here. Dark Magician, you stay here to help. Uh, Ansatsu, you can stay over here. And my Valentine is a very powerful ally to have on your team. She is super fast. She moves super quickly because she has a flying leader. Harpy Lady Arrow, that's her name. She has Curse of Dragon. Amazing card. She has Harpy's Pet Dragon. One of the strongest monsters you can have. So we are really rolling with the toughies right now. We have really strong monsters. Uh, Fizdiz, uh, you keep defending that base. You've been doing great, girl. Uh, I want her to go over here since she's so fast. I want her to capture the new area. She has a big radius around her, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, Trader, you didn't have anything useful, right? We already bought more stuff, yeah. Uh, we got more gold now, but let's save it for the next mission. Uh, just in case more enemies respawn, like this guy, we're gonna have we're gonna have our bases defended by sending him over here and uh, fighting him in the open field at night. Some of our monsters are night adept. This will be Bakora's first battle with his new team. Let's check it out, people. Give him a round of applause. And uh, remember that none of these guys have healing items, so focus on the dragon zombie, who has five attacks. Holy crap. Hunting slice. Eh, pretty good damage. It's more of a tank, so it's okay that I didn't get crazy damage. Please tell me you just hit our tank. Yeah, Beast of Gopher is our tank. It has as much defense as Dark Magician has attack. So, pretty good card. Uh, really good HP too. 
Uh, Mystic Slash will still be our strongest because I gave him Legendary Swords, so this should kill, actually. Yep, freaking killed him. Zanky, what are you going to do? Yeah, keep going for him. He's our tank. He's our biggest monster. I like that. You go over there. I kind of like having him on the core scene because he looks evil as fuck, even though he's Yugi's monster. Uh, he looks evil as fuck, so we try to give evil monsters to Bakora. Except on Satsu. On Satsu's not evil, he's just more ninja. And it makes him faster, so I like having a fast leader. So go ahead, zombie breath me. I can take it. Uh, let's do ninja over here. Watch out. And we did it, people. We got another... Oh my god, this battle was so easy. Now that they're only at half health, freaking Bakora's freaking awesome. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, zombie breath me. I dare you. Pumpkin King, I'd love to have you on my team, but you're so weak. I don't even need you. I do not even need you. You're so weak. All right, now, uh, go ahead. Go for flaming. Jesus Christ, this looks like Inferno. And Inferno should do, like, killing oh, killing damage to a grass, uh, grass ghost type like you. The grass ghost is a really good typing in Pokemon. All right, now that we got the kill, we got the win, Bakura, you do it awesome. Let's go back to focusing on my Valentine, see if we can get her to do stuff for us. So, wow. Wow, those guys are low level, so they're going to be getting a lot of level ups. Good to see. I think Neck Hunter fits well on Bakura's team since, you know, it's a freaking cre creepy, crazy monster, and Bakura's a creepy, crazy person. So, Harpy Lady's moving into position. I like it. I like it. Let's just keep focusing on defense. Um, Bakura, how's your team? Team's fine. Uh, Ansatsu, stay here, block that castle. You two stay here, block the main base. And then we have her at home, just in case they get a little too bold. You will fall. You will fall, my friend. Patient, we, just be be patient. Alright, Harpy Lady. We have one area we haven't taken over. It's this one. It's still neutral. I want you to go do it, since you're fast. Alright. And because I don't know if there's a special event. I don't remember if she needed that. I don't remember. I'll figure it out right now. Dark Magician, go over here, but don't get too close. We're gonna let, uh, we're gonna let Tristan defend the base on his own. Oh, up, 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 go help Mako. Go help Mako, that thing's big. It has no healing items, but it's still big. Go help him. Alright, and she did it! She captured the base! 600. There was a special event. If you come here with Mai, you get a new... Her name's Kachu. I don't know. I thought you would know. Silly Laura, silly. I'm sorry I bothered you. Oh, okay, never mind. You cannot get her on your team. There is a Harpy Lady here. You cannot get on your team until... We're back, everybody. We're ready. Harpy Lady is finally going to attack Haitian. Girl, how dare you defy me, you good-for-nothing rebels. Today I am judge, jury, and executioner. I sent in her only because she is the only one that can fight this guy without dying to the cannons. But we are still fighting an, a powerful opponent. He has interesting monsters, as you can see. Haitian is an old man, so he's not exactly, you know, oh my god, I have freaking all the support or any of that crap. He has weird monsters like Mystical Elf. Uh, let's, let's check him out. Mystical Elf. Axe Raider with Red Medicine, of course, and Zanky. So we need to kill the Axe Raider. Mystical Elf is a super tank, and Zanky's just whatever. So attacker, slash healer, tank, middle of the road. Let's get rid of him. Uh, let's start killing him. As you can see, Harpy Lady is an amazing monster because it gets so many attacks. That's why it's good to have multiple Harpy Ladies, but, uh, if you can get all three, it's worth having. If you can only have two out of three, then keep something else on your team. Which is this is freaking Curse of Dragon and freaking Harpy's Pet Dragon. I always love to have Harpy's Pet Dragon on the team. So let's see. He's not going to die. But I still feel like we should focus someone else. Let's go for Miskoil. Because I don't want Axe Ray to heal himself. That would be really, really bad. I want to go for the kill this game, not, not heal. Alright, Harpy's Pet Dragon, hold off. I know your attack is probably one of our strongest, if not the strongest. Curse of Dragon might be stronger just because its defenses are weaker. But, Harvey's Pet Dragon is a super tank, like, str oh, be a better tank than a Mystical Elf, and has a lot of HP, and is just an amazing monster in general. I love having Harvey's Pet Dragon on anything. In any Yu-Gi-Oh game, I always use Harvey's Pet Dragon. So now that he's out of heals, let's go for the kill. Let's do it, people. If we kill off the Axe Raider, this battle is over. Haitian has fallen. His team is way weaker than you might have, might have expected, but hey, let's do a little scratch attack. Yeah, a little kick scratches. Pretty good damage, 202. Shredder's gonna do some good damage to us. He's not bad. 
I don't like that they're aiming at Harpy Lady. She's our weaker monster. She does not have good attack. Or, she has good attack because she has so many attacks. But her stats in the game are 1300, 1400 base. So the only reason she's good right now is because of her level. Holy crap! All that giant Saint Fire for just to miss? Why are all our coolest monsters this game missing? Dark Magician missed twice in a row. Harpy's Pet Dragon is so freaking cool. One of my favorite monsters, and it missed. What is going on? Why can't you be, just be cool? I should have bought the Electro Whip way back when. I just remembered episode one or two. Oh my god. Giant Saint Fire. That move is so cool looking. You can't say that's not a cool looking move. It should hit everybody on the field, not just him. And he's gone. Easily dead. Alright, now we can start focusing on our tank on the tank. Because in the second rotation, I just want her gone. I don't like I don't like looking at her. Mystical Elf is too cool of a monster to be used by someone like freaking uh what's his name? This disgusting guy. Fuck, oh, what's his name? You guys know his name? I don't know his name. Ah, oh, whatever, he's dead. Or she's gonna be dead soon. Go ahead, Harpy Lady, get her attack in. Harpy Lady is her version of Celtic Guardian because he gets so many attacks. So... Oh, we got a lot of damage in. Pretty good, pretty good. Now let's see if we can get some heals. And... Now I won't even need a heal, we're good. With that, we should be good. Hey Sheen. I don't know why they spelled the name so different. Maybe because the guy who made the company was pretty dumb when he was making this video game. So let's do it. Because in the other game, it's Hey Shen. It's uh, S H E I N. Kind of like Sheen. But instead, he spelled it with Sheen with E E N. It's kind of like the Frieza ordeal. Where everyone didn't know how to spell Frieza's name. So let's wait out their guards. Because they all guard it. God damn it. Hey Shen, this is your final battle. Can you stop making it take so long? Can't you just attack us? Make it seem like you were trying to win? The crystal shards, the crystal gems. Crystal shards is pretty brutal because shards are just broken gems and they're dead. So sad. Alright, let's go in for the kill. First the dragon. Should do about. No, that should kill it. And then we can focus down Zanki. We won, people. This battle is over. I could honestly just skip to the end and you guys can guess what happened. May, uh, my Valentine showed that she is super strong. Joey needs some work because I, I need to give him, I, I need to help him out. I, I fucked up. I fucked up for people, not him. Joey didn't fuck up, I fucked up. So let's do this, and yeah, get in there with your little scratch crusher attack. So what you do is if you get all three harpy ladies, you can get an item that makes it so they have a formation attack that hits all enemies on the enemy side of the field, and it is super cool. Uh, those of you that know enough about harpy ladies know what the attack is called. I can't remember the spell card that it, uh, that it is in the actual game. But uh, it's like a tri-attack kind of thing, so it's pretty cool. Reminds me of TN. There it is, everybody. Haitian is fallen. Mai is hit level 13. Harpy Lady, Curse of Dragon, love them all. They're all doing great. Harpy's Pet Dragon, beautiful. And 900 gold. Retreat, retreat! Haitian's getting away. Don't let him escape. Oh, is this going to end with him escaping? Curse you, my army, my empire. You need not worry about that, your majesty. Who's there? Who? What are you? It doesn't matter, your majesty. The important thing is that I am the one who will deliver you from your enemies. Another ins insolent... Ah, never mind. So you say you can save my empire, do you? Yes, I can. I will defeat the resistance army that is chasing you. Good, now I can rest knowing that I'll be safe. Hmm, I wouldn't be too sure of that. What? The empire and the army no longer belong to you, your majesty. What? Just, just what does that mean? Explain yourself... Ah! Yeah, my body, my body, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so basically, guy in white suit, true bad guy. He erased all their programs he didn't want because this guy who created, apparently this is the guy who created the game. Oh no, we we're being attacked from behind by an unknown enemy. What? How did? How is this possible? Our intelligence didn't report any forces behind us. Sorry to surprise you all. I've taken the liberty of destroying your rear units. How utterly simplistic of you to leave your bike sites so uh, completely unprotected like that. Who the heck are you? Not that it matters, yada yada yada, my name's Scott. So yeah, guys, this is Scott. Uh, he's talking a lot of shit. I'm kind of skipping the shit because it's it's been a long episode already. And Scott, I don't want to hear your shit. But we did it! We got Red Medicine, we got Monster Reborn, we got Gold. And Scott apparently destroyed a lot of our forces, and now we are now going into the mission Refugees. Of course, we're not doing it now. I don't want a two-hour episode. Emperation erased, yada yada yada. 
Turns out Scott's the real bad guy. Haitian's gone. Haitian wasn't the bad guy in uh, in a lot of these stories, so it's not that surprising to me. Oh my god, this next mission, we don't even get to choose who we bring in. We're forced to bring these four. But that'll be for next time, so be excited, people. See you then.